Hello friends, it's Zora from Studio Riso once again and today I'm back on my XSR 700 Okay friends, so I am on my way to Oxford Why I'm going to Oxford is because I used to have a very nice and comfortable Puma uh, motorbike boots I do not remember the model number However, I used to wear them a lot and initially they used to bite my foot quite a lot. It was really uncomfortable. I was about to chuck them away. However, somebody recommended that just wear it at home and just keep them next to the heater, your, you know, radiator. And what I'll do is, because it's leather, it'll stretch, common sense, yeah. So, I tried that, and one day I wore it, even though it was so uncomfortable, I kept on just, I, I did not take them out. And surprise, surprise, they molded around my feet. Result, they're very comfortable. So one day what happened, the, the side ankle zipper just broke. And I couldn't find anybody in London who would just repair those boots. Because they're waterproof and it needs, I think, uh, you need to take the inner liner and outer liner both out to do it. And everybody started saying that uh, it's just not worth doing. So just chuck them away, buy new boots. What I, what I did was, I did buy new boots. However, I just didn't want to chuck them away. I mean, one, they were so comfortable. Two, I caught them in a very good deal. I think they were around 180 pounds and I paid around 99 or 100 pounds or something like that three, four years ago. But price aside, they were just very comfortable and they looked nice. They were complete black, no white, no red, no orange, you know. They were quite subtle and they sit on your shin. So they were quite like not too long, but they weren't short at all. So I found this guy in Oxford it's just between uh, Ellsbury and um, Bicester and I phoned him he said yeah I'll do it and then he's just gonna charge me 20 pounds he's gonna put a waterproof zipper on and I was like you know what that's a good deal I mean for 20 pounds there's there's no harm taking a chance and just making them bringing them back to life and um, I did that and after a week and a half he called me back and said that boots are done and now I'm on my way to Oxford I I was going to drive before but then I thought the weather is good and I haven't done a vlog for a while so why not do that on top of that I thought that this will be the good time to talk about my bike which is almost due for its first service the bike is now five weeks old now and I have done just over 510 miles I think 515 as we speak and um, or I would say 515 smiles because I can't be happier with this bike yes some some time when you look around and when you see seven sorry when you see 900 go past and because I test your 900 as well there was a little bit of me thinking why didn't I just go for the 900 the reason why I didn't go for 900 was one they didn't have the color in stock two the options the extras I was getting on this bike worth 400 pounds 350 400 pounds and the dealer wasn't going to give these extras on that bike on top of that, quite strange, but he wasn't going to give me the same part exchange for my Honda PCX125, sorry, Honda Forza125, which is quite strange. And Partex is Partex. I understand that if you buy something cheaper than you actually discussed for, obviously, you know, your profit margin goes down, but I was going to buy something more expensive, so obviously. He's got more gear, but I, I don't know how Yamaha works, so probably, uh, probably he, he can't really get the bike and 
because I bought this bike in May, sorry, 12th of April, I wouldn't have got my hands on a new silver or garage metal silver until at the end of June or something. I was like, it's fine. Yes, seven and nine hundred. It's a bit more smooth. It's smoother when you come. Of course, why not? It's a three-pot engine. It has been getting way good reviews. Not that nine hundred, seven hundred isn't. Even seven hundred is quite a popular bike. And uh, bang for buck, seven hundred is right on top because you cannot get this kind of bike for this price. So. I went for this, yes in 900 you do get three driving modes or I would say three riding modes. You do get two type, I think three level of traction control, one is off, one level one and two, which I did try, it's good. Even though I did find on 900 when you just open the throttle on A mode, which is the fastest mode, it's quite jerky it's not smooth and let's not even talk about the M209 because we all know that it had some fueling issues but they do say that they have changed and they have rectified that issue with XSR 900 however I found it very choppy on B mode and on standard it's super it's amazing it's got enough power that all you need So, coming back to my 700, I love the bike, I love every bit of it, there's nothing I would want to change. Yeah, maybe if Yamaha launches a little tail tidy, which will be good, but it's not that I really want it now. Yeah, maybe exhaust, but there is no way I'm going to be spending £1,000, £1,100 on the exhaust, that is a lot of money. Yeah, you can get an Acropovic uh, carbon for I think 600 or 500 pounds, which is good. But again, I'm in no rush at the moment. I'm just enjoying the new bike. Fuel consumption is good, I'm, no matter how I ride. Obviously, I haven't opened the throttle yet, um, but I'm still getting over 65 miles per gallon, which is very good considering the performance you get out of this bike. So. From Windsor to Oxford. I've done that before when I went to drop the boot I went on my bike and uh, on that particular day I ended up doing 160 miles so 160 miles so what I did was Windsor to Oxford Oxford to London London to Windsor comfortable yes very comfortable I wouldn't say that one it's a naked bike so I did feel a little stiff neck next morning even though I'm surprised even though it wasn't that windy the other day and I was on the bike for like 150 160 miles or probably the way I was sitting you know and yeah another reason was because I was on the motorway because of the motorway my hands, my wrists were quite stiff, my neck was constantly like that. But I enjoyed it. It was nice. My back wasn't as bad as the CBR 500, CB500R I had. But this is a different bike altogether. That's good for other purposes. This is good for different uh, rides altogether. So it's not that this is the first time I'm doing this longer ride but this time what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be taking the motorway because the weather is nice I'm going to take the back route so my route will be from M40 I'll be coming off High Wycombe and through High Wycombe I'll be taking the back route towards Ellsbury from Ellsbury Bester and I've just realized my fuel has gone down to empty. That's one criticism. It's got a, such a tiny tank after every 100 odd miles, I would say 120, 130 miles, you, you just have to fill up. 
So every time I take my bike out, I ended up filling, you know, the, the whole tank. Which is fair enough because there's no point waiting till the end and doing it. And when I had my Forza 1 to 5, because in one year I only did 600 miles, and literally one tank I got from the dealer and I filled another just one one more tank because he used to give around 250 to 75 miles per tank crazy but then where would you go in one to five you just end up pottering around in town and the moment you have to hit the motorway it's just not comfortable yes doable but not comfortable but who wants to worry about fuel consumption 